What's up guys, BVHD here, back with another episode of Skillisha Squads. I do believe this is the 10th episode of the series so far. And so, and this team, for me, <clears throat> is the, I'd say, is the strongest squad. Um, and I really enjoyed using this team. If you have the coins for this team, definitely go out and make it. Um, <clears throat> but if not, then just look at one of my previous squads, and they're all quite nice squads. Every every team I've used has been really enjoyable to use. So definitely go and give one of them a go if you don't have the coins for this, because a lot of people won't. Um, but this time I went for a 4 3 2 1. One of my uh, formation, one of my favourite formations in the game, along with 3 5 2 and uh, 4 3 3 this year. Very strong, strong formation. Um, the forwards really help out. I prefer forwards to wingers. Obviously, it's a bit more compact in the um, like when you're attacking, when you go in for goal. They're all a bit more closer in than the wingers and just easier all around to get the goals. Anyway, we'll get on to the squad here. And the first play we have is the overpowered beast that is Loris. Um, the stats on his card, you can see there, 90 diving, 91 reflexes. 85 handling, 75 kicking, and 68 speed. The only, I don't think there really is a downside to this guy. I mean, his kicking is 75, but his in-game, um, it just seemed to be a lot more accurate, than, a lot cooler, sorry, quite accurate, and a lot better than 75, um, I must say. So, I'd say for me, he's the complete goalkeeper on this game. I've not tried Joe Hart or anyone like that this year, but so far, he's been the best keeper I've used. Um, he's six foot two as well, and he. But the only downside is look at the price tag. He's uh, he's around seventy to seventy five k. Um, I actually haven't got this one information because he does get full chemistry. Anyway, so I didn't need to change his formation. Anyway, we'll get onto the first defender, and it's the right back, and we've got Nye here. I've used this guy a few times. A really solid right back, probably the most solid right back from Liga do Brasil. Um, really. Brilliant for going forward. Got great pace as well for coming back. If he needs to catch a player, if you get turned, if the player turns you, you can usually catch them up. But he'll go forward, but not as far as the likes of Cecinio and um, like Dani Alves and uh, Mariano, those kind of players. He will go forward, but not that far, and that's why I like him. He only cost me, he's about 9k. When I first got him, he was going for about 6k, but that was like in the first few days when the game came out. Um, but really solid player, definitely recommend him. Um, I personally, I find he's the best in Liga de Brazil. So if you're going to make a Liga de Brazil team, a silver Brazilian team, Brazilian team, anything like that, don't go, don't bother dishing out for Dani Alves, all those coins. Just go and get this guy, really solid player, um, just like last year. Anyway, we'll get into our first centre back here, and I don't want to ruin it, so I'm going to put in the league for you, um, so you don't see the other guy. And it is Yunus Kabul. Um, really fast centre back, really strong, beefy kind of player. Great in the air as well, as Spurs fans will know. Um, he's a really good player, and I definitely recommend him in any team you can get him into. Uh, he cost me 2.8k. Probably get him a little bit cheaper. I just went and got the the, the buy now. If you get him on bid, you can probably get him for about 2,500, something like that. Six foot three. Actually has 99 power. Uh, in game, if you go to take a free kick, just scroll down. If you're using him, you will see it says 99 power. Here's the drilled stance. So on the edge of the box, um, his, his accuracy is pretty poor. But on the edge of the box, if you get one on the 18 yard, 18 yards out or 19 yards out, just smash it into the top corner, and most likely it will go in. Anyway, the second centre back we've got here is um, <clears throat> also been used before in a team is Mangala, uh, 79 pace, really solid player. Um, kind of acts like the sweeper out of the two, but he is a brilliant player to have in any team you can get him into. Really solid all-around all, all stats there on him. Um, and he's really cheap as well, which is what I love. I love little cheap buys, little like kind of gems, if you will. Um, so 500 coins, 6 foot 2, and a really good player. Anyway, we're getting on to the last defender in the squad, and it is Holly Bass. Um, used him last year, I do believe he was German. In the last FIFA, he's obviously transferred now to Greece, uh, to being a Greek player. But the only standout stat there, I mean, he's got quite consistent high 60 stat, stats and the odd, and 170 free stat. Um, but his, his standout stat is his pace. He does get forward quite a lot. 
but he is six foot as well. So you know he's um, for corners as well. He isn't the he isn't the worst player to have because he can if you're defending corners. If usually your wing backs are quite small and can let you down from the corners and the set pieces defensively, defensive wise. But he's a really good player for me, and he's only eight hundred coins as well. So definitely worth the buy. Anyway, getting on to the first midfielder where we have here, and um, the first player we have. Is the god, the king, Ronaldinho, used him many times in this FIFA already, even though it's not been out that long. He's a brilliant player. Obviously, he has five-star skills. If he didn't, then, you know, I'm pretty sure there'll be a pro there would be a protest about it or something. Uh, but he's a great player. Really solid stats on his card. Don't be put off by the pace. For me, in this formation, in the centre mid position, uh, pace doesn't really matter at all. Um, but he's a brilliant player, really good passing and his shot's brilliant. Obviously his dribbling is class and his first touch is great as well. Pit mine up in the centre mid position in the 4-3-2-1 for 6,800. I do believe he goes for about 8k so you might have to pay a little bit more. But definitely recommend this guy. Brilliant free kicks and all around a great midfielder. Anyway, we're getting to the second central midfielder we've got here. And this guy um, is basically what I based the team around. He's the first player I bought in the squad is Joe Mortinho. Uh, in form uh, really solid stats I decided to buy him because the new team of the week is out today for you guys but I bought him last night um, you see on his card great stats brilliant in game at everything he's a great little he's a great player for stopping like for breaking down the opposition's midfield and breaking down attacks and counter attacks brilliant at getting forward as well great passing on his card picks out some some wonderful passes to the front three and he really is the star of the show in midfield, I would say. Just And just behind him is Ronaldinho. Um, but definitely recommend him. He also has a four-star weak foot. And for an 85 inform rated player, 29k, I, I don't think he, you know, you'll get much better um, for that rating and price. He's a great little player to have. And I definitely recommend him um, in any squad you can get him into. Anyway, we'll get into the final midfielder here. Um, this guy, I've used him before. He's a very good player. He's a bit small. It's uh, I'm just going to call him Fetfa because I can't really, I have trouble pronouncing names. So I'm going to call him Fetfa. Last year he had 88 pace. They have downgraded that to 82 pace, but he still seems very quick on the ball. Agile little player. Great from like um, the free kicks from the halfway line, which I seem to score quite a lot. A uh, little overhead kicks and stuff like that. He's great for little skill runs as well. Um, he's quite a solid player. I mean, he has obviously five star skills, three star weak foot, five foot six. So, like I said, he's quite small, but he isn't the dearest. I got him in sentiment for seven thousand six hundred, and um, for a silver skiller, personally, I think that's a bit of a steal, um, because last year he was going for quite a lot. I rem do remember, but definitely a good player, and definitely recommend you try and get him into a team with, with Quincy. I've had him in a previous squad with Quincy, and they were both great together. Anyway, we'll get onto the front three now, and this is this is where it all kicks off. Because we've got some brilliant players. The first one being Kelvin. is a really solid player to have. Um, a lot of speculation over this guy. A lot of skillers have used him. And a lot of people question why he's, be, he's being used so much. And they're seeing him so much. It's, I personally think it's because he is Brazilian. One. Two, he's left footed. And he's the only left footed five star skiller uh, for Brazil. And obviously everyone likes making Brazil teams. And he's also a lot cheaper than Danilinho and Michael Niete. Um So I personally really like this guy. I do. I did already have one, but I did have to lend him. Well, I didn't have to. I lent him to Rayman HD um, because he's using him for his road to become a skiller or whatever his series is called. Um, but yeah, he's a really good player and definitely recommend him. Don't be put off by the price tag. Um, I think he's worth every every coin. Anyway, we'll get on to the striker, and I've wanted to use this guy since I've seen him in the beginning of FIFA, especially because he's become a Manchester United player. It's Robin Van Persie, brilliant player, absolutely brilliant, steals the show in this team. Four-star skills, look at those stats, 89 shooting, his free kicks, his shot, anything with that left foot goes in. It's ridiculous, it's so, oh, it's just so good. It's... He's brilliant. He's brilliant at everything. He says 68 heading. He's good at heading as well. Um, four star weak foot. And he's got four star skills, which is what I've already mentioned. But he has brilliant passing as well. He just seems to be like the complete striker for me. And I definitely, if you can get him into a team, forget Aguero, forget your Rooney, all those players, get him. 
Get him in the team. He's brilliant. Great player to have. And um, the last player of the team, you probably will have guessed it by now, is Luis Nani. Um, used this guy before. Brilliant player. Loved using him again. The five-star skills with this guy is just brilliant. And last year, I didn't like him. But this year, his shooting seems to be really good as well. He also has a four-star weak foot. He costs the, around the same price tag. He has the same price tag as um, as Kelvin. But he's a really great player. And I definitely recommend you getting him into a team. Everyone in this team does get nine chemistry. I'm just going to go out and go back in. Um, but you can see here, everyone gets nine chemistry. And it's the most solid, complete team I've used to date. Um, I say that a lot, but this team, you can see there's some really solid, like the keeper, the defence is all very quick, the midfielders are all really good at going forward, but also Mortini is good at getting back. They have two five-star skillers there as well, and then have two five-star skillers in the attacking positions, and are basically a god up front. Um, and that's really going to be the end. But yeah, it's a really solid team. If you can make it, go out and do it. And um, if I could just ask you to hit the like button, it really helps me out. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and I will see you all next time. Cheers.